Wayne Brady recently came out as pansexual. I don't think it's a big surprise. You know, these rumors have been swirling around Hollywood for a number of years. I'm so proud of Wayne Brady for stepping into this space because I've been there, but I'm being real. The only thing I hope is that he doesn't step out with a white man. And is that like being too selfish? Because, um, you know, we see that trend, especially with our super successful um, black entertainers. And if I'm honest, I think he's pretty handsome. Wayne Brady, if you're watching, Al oh. would uh, like to go to press stations with you in L.A. I actually could see Wayne Brady and Al Reynolds together. I, I, I do kind of hope in this situation he don't pop out with no damn white white man either. But it, it, it gives me that's what's going to happen. I hate to be as ignorant and say as ignorant of a thing that I'm about to say. But girl, you was too engulfed in the Broadway and the singing and the dancing and the theater and the plays to not be a part of the community, girl. And we just hope that now that you use this pansexual situation for whatever it is you use it for, that you start doing some advocacy work within the community with your platform. And don't be one of those gays that just came out because you're trying to protect yourself from extortion. You're trying to protect yourself from extortion. What's up, Brownies? I would like to start by encouraging you to go and watch that episode in its entirety because context matters. Now let's move on to some of the things that I'm confused by. First things first, I'm confused. Did Al just shoot his shot at Wayne Brady or not? <laughs> so I would be interested in seeing how that plays out. The next thing that I'm confused about is when is it okay to misgender somebody? Now, if you know Q, if you know Funky Dineva and his personality and the way that he jokes, you, you knew that there was no malice in this at all. However, comma, I do want to point out for the sake of balance that you did refer to him as Miss Wayne and girl multiple times within this show. Now, here's the thing. Wayne came out and said that he was pansexual, not transsexual. Here's the thing. He didn't say that he was trans. Why are you calling him a girl? See what I'm saying? You see how easy it is for people to trip and fall in on their own sword as it pertains to when we want to be up in arms and offended about labels and pronouns and misgendering, which is something that you have been on heavy for the past few several episodes why was it okay to continue to play up stereotypes now if you know q you know he's very educated very intelligent so i do appreciate the fact that he prefaced the statement before saying it by just simply stating i know that this is getting ready to be ignorant but of course because black people play all day and we live for a laugh. You just couldn't resist it. You had to go on and say it and continue with the, well, Miss Wayne, you know, we knew that she was a part of the community, girl, because the way that you was always into uh, the all of the singing and the, the, uh, the Broadway and the plays and the musicals or whatever. Now, I'm confused on why it is that we want to continue to play up this stereotype that if boys are more into the arts versus athletics, then that's a great indication that they're gay. We need to stop limiting our sons in this way. Um, which brings me on to my last thing, which was them both saying they just hope that Wayne is not with a white man. Honey, I'm confused about double standards because when black women say such a thing, black men turn into mister in the comment section. You're black, you're poor, you're ugly, you're a woman, you're nothing at all. Oh, the comments about how, oh, well, you're racist, you're prejudiced, you're bigoted, um, you're just mad, you're jealous of women of other communities. You're mad because nobody wants you. You're going to die alone. Winter is coming. I mean, the weirdness goes on and on. But it, it veers on into these personal attacks that I just don't see come back at black men in that type of way that hard. And so just to be clear, for those who don't understand or twist themselves into a pretzel to get this wrong, we're simply talking about um, the, the wealthy or the talented 10th specifically in this case. Um, it has more to do with erasure, um, where your resources go, and um, the racial wealth gap, and 
history, uh, math, you know, all of the things. So let's not automatically assume that someone is being jealous or racist when they simply say this. Nobody has a problem with you loving who you want to love and dating who you want to date. We would just prefer that we kept the money and the talented 10th within this community and that those people would love and marry their own, which would increase the likelihood of those spreading those resources right back out to the black community, which is slated to be bankrupt in the next 30 years because everything that we have, we quickly export it out, um, all of our resources out to other communities. But the fact that they never come back in the same capacity is the reason why we're in the situation that we're in. Which brings me to my last point. We would also like to reserve the right to continue to export all of our trash, undesirables, and the bottom shelf.